This is Carla Scott and welcome to my cruise stateroom on a popular cruise line. Today's topic is 10 tips for easy cruise embarkation or cruise boarding on boarding day. So let's look at number one. I highly recommend that you arrive at the ships sometime between noon and one o'clock. Why? Because I don't want you to have to spend time standing possibly in a long line out in the hot sun or in the rain and I also don't want you having to spend a lot of time inside the terminal area so sometime between noon and one o'clock is a good time to arrive. Next I want you to have lunch right away. Go straight up to the Lido deck, take a look around the pool area and have a nice lunch. By the time you finish lunch your room should be available. Typically the rooms are available anytime between noon and 2 or 3 o'clock. Number three, if the ship offers a tour on embarkation day, by all means take a nice tour of the ship. And typically they'll have someone from the entertainment staff who will give you a nice overview of what you can find on each of the decks and that will help you a lot. Um, when you do board, they're going to take your photo and they'll give you a key that you'll use for all of your onboard purchases and it's your room key. I like to keep mine in a little pouch on a lanyard around my neck. You'll see a lot of people wearing their keys on lanyards. And they'll also hand you a welcome aboard booklet that will contain a map of the ship. It'll show deck by deck what you can find. And one rule of thumb that I found that's very common on cruise ships is that forward is entertainment. That's where the big theater is that holds anywhere from 500 to 1,500 people. And aft or back is where the food can be found. The main dining rooms, the Lido deck, and some of the other restaurants for which you pay a fee. So just keep that in mind entertainment forward and food backward. And don't worry, it'll probably take you three to five days to really find your way around such that you no longer need to rely on your map. You'll see a lot of people the first few days walking around holding their maps. Number four, every day the cruise line is going to hand you a newsletter that contains the daily schedule. Here you have everything from the date, the weather forecast, what time the sun rises and sun sets. If you know when the sun sets, you can go out on deck and take wonderful, uh, spectacular sunset photos. The dress code of the day, typically on a seven day cruise there will be two formal nights. And then you have highlights on the cover and then inside you literally have hour by hour all the activities that are being offered. Here, for example, the activities begin at 8 a.m. with exercise classes and a mass. And the last item scheduled is music in the dance club. So some of the activities are lectures, poolside games, cooking demonstrations, dance lessons, movie times, casino hours all the music venues. Typically there are four, or five, or six different venues all over the ship where they have musicians. One cruise line even has a popular a cappella quartet group. Keep in mind that most cruise lines also offer room service 24 hours and it's free. What I like to do often is the night before they give you a menu I like to order my breakfast. I hang it out on the door by 2 a.m. and that way the next morning I get both a wake-up call and breakfast. It's really a nice way to wake up. Number five, there will be a mandatory lifeboat drill the first day. Sometime between 3.45 and 5 o'clock is average. Number six, please be out on deck for the sail away. There's usually 
a calypso band playing poolside and people are dancing. It's very festive and you also have an opportunity to take nice photos or videos as the ship sails away from port. Number seven, take your boarding photo. What do I mean by boarding photo? Well, as you're boarding, there will be a couple of photographer stations set up and they will stop you and ask you if you'd like to take a photo. And why do I recommend that you take your boarding photo? Is because you'll have a nice souvenir of the trip. Not only do you have your photo, but you also have your itinerary. So I always like to buy them. And I usually keep it posted in my room throughout the cruise. Number eight, meet your table mates the first night. I'd say that two-thirds of passengers have assigned seating, either early seating or late seating, and if you do have assigned seating, you know, it's a nice time to get off to a good start and see who else you'll be sitting with. What I like to do is go into the dining room early to find out where my table actually is located and that way if you're not satisfied with it or if you're not satisfied with your dining arrangement at all the first night you can go to the maitre d and that will give them an opportunity to make changes um, based upon your preferences for the rest of the cruise number nine try and unpack that first day before you go to sleep because it's nice to wake up the next day feeling completely moved in like your home because remember this stateroom will be your home for five or seven or ten or twelve or fourteen or more days and then finally every night there will be shows in the main theater two shows in fact an early show and a late show and there you'll see everything from song and dance teams to musicians to magicians to comedians there's a nice variety of entertainers. Tonight in the theater they have a concert pianist and last night they had a funny a cappella group. The first night typically there's only one show and that's because they anticipate that a lot of the guests will be exhausted from their travels or jet lag so they don't necessarily attend the first show. I enjoy going to the first show because that's where the cruise director welcomes everyone. They typically go around the room to get an idea of what countries everyone hails from. I always like to know where everyone's from. And you get an opportunity that evening to see their song and dance team. They're uh, really talented young people typically with robust voices and nice costumes and beautiful bodies and they're wonderful dancers. And then they may show a few of the other acts that we'll see throughout the cruise. So try and attend the, the opening night show in the big theater, no matter how tired you are. Try and stay up as late as possible. So I'm Carla Scott from Global Ways, and those are my 10 tips on how to make your boarding day or embarkation day on your cruise easier. Bye. Bon voyage.